It was a 1-0 win for Kilmarnock at uh, Tyne Castle. We heard earlier from Angelo Alessio, who was very happy indeed. Uh, Craig Levine is going to give his reaction now to Jonathan. Well, Craig, another disappointing result in the league at home. Uh, how frustrating was that for you? Uh, I'm more angry than frustrated. Um, I said to players after the game, we've got a load of players coming back from, from uh, injury very soon and uh, I don't want anybody to be knocking on my door and asking why they're not playing because currently, um, I wouldn't say they're not trying, but they need to do more. I think they need to dig in harder. In a game like that today, um, we've had the majority of the play, we've had the best chances, um, but I felt that we could have done more and, and that's a recurrent theme. And uh, some of them won't be playing uh, once people come back from injury. Have you read the riot act in there? It's gone on for too long, you know, and, and I've got to the stage where I've been trying to uh, encourage people and, and support them. And I just feel that they need to do more. Everybody needs to do more. They're all waiting on somebody doing something to pull the, pull the game round. And uh, we need bigger characters in the team. And uh, well, the good news for me is that we'll start to get them back next, uh, for the next match. How much to blame have the injuries been for, for Hearts' struggles? I don't know, but I mean, we, it's, it's, not, it's not the fact that we, we, we've had injuries, it's, it's the fact that we need to do more when we get opportunities to play. Some of the young ones have had opportunities, there's other guys who've come into the team who've had opportunities. And to stay in the team, we need to do more. And uh, that was my feeling today, we had the chances to, to get back in the game and maybe go in front. And I thought that uh, there was nothing wrong with Steve, uh, uh, Clavid's challenge for Stephen McLean's goal. But these things are incidental because for me the biggest thing is that uh, the team, the 11 players out there today need to do more. They need to do more for the supporters, they need to do more for themselves to enable them to stay in the team when, the, when big players come back. You clearly feel let down by your players today. How much is Tynecastle a factor here? I, is this stadium too much for some players? It's a brilliant stadium. It's a, it's a fantastic place to play. But you've got to have a pair of balls to play here. And, and, and I question sometimes, and, and look, we've got younger players who, who haven't had a lot of game time. We've got boys who, who maybe who's, they haven't developed their character fully yet. Um, but it's a test for everybody who plays here. It's a test for every player. And, uh, and for me, you have to be able to handle it. And today, yeah, we could, we could argue we had the better chances. We could argue we had a lot more of the ball. But that isn't the point. The point is that this has been going on too long. And, uh, and I'm getting to the point where I'm, where I'm done with, with, uh, with being nice and done with, excuse me, done with uh, protecting players if they're not playing well. And I think you'll see in the weeks to come that, uh, that some players will be left at the team. It looked like there might be a feel-good factor, Craig, obviously after the Derby victory against Hibs and then a point away from home against St Mirren, but obviously another frustrating defeat for the Hearts fans watching. What would you say to them who will undoubtedly still have question marks about yourself? Of course. Of course. My, my point is that, that uh, we need to do more to get the supporters on our side. And they're not going to be on our side if we go through the motions. And we, we did, we tried today, but we didn't just go that extra yard. And that's what we need to do. We need to, get, we need to, do, to go that extra yard to turn things around to get the momentum moving forward. And as I say, you know, next, the next match things are different. We start to get players back. And uh, we'll get big characters who, who've got the strength of character to deal with situations if they aren't going well. And no question in your mind that you've got the leadership values required to, to get Hearts out of at the position they are at, the, at this moment in time. Yeah, absolutely. Craig Levine chatting with Jonathan. Um, well, you, you heard it, folks. I'm assuming you did hear it all. He was... Um, and if you did, and you heard the little sweary word that he used, he apologised himself, Craig. Uh, apologies to anyone who was offended, but the, the clear frustration is coming out. Um, well, he's accused his, his players of just simply not having, <laughs> I'll say the bottle, uh, he used another phrase, um, to, to cope with the scenario there at Tynecastle. Um, I mean, like, interesting, Michael, there, there wasn't much focus there on his decision not to play any strikers um, going into the game, but... Um, he certainly left his players he did put out there without a name, virtually. Yeah, pure deflection, isn't it? I mean, you know, he talks about annoyed, frustrated. Well, sorry, but everyone else connected with Hearts has been annoyed and frustrated for a lot longer than he clearly has been. It's uh, 
to not I mean look he's he's the manager that's made a big mistake he's obviously not going to reference it his, himself but to then chuck everything onto the players that's, to me that's the the, uh, the sign of somebody that is very much um, you know lost doesn't know what to do and it's the last uh, last line of attack to chuck it onto the players there yes they need to do more yep. but you can see the clear difference between the first half and the second half and that's down to managerial selection and tactics the team was the major factor of this defeat here today. Poor managerial decisions at the set start of this game. Right, we've already stolen some of uh, Off the Ball's time, so um, we'll have to leave it there. We'll pick up on this, I'm sure, tomorrow on Sunday Sports. And quick reminder, today, Aberdeen won a Bernie and won. Kamarnock winning 1-0 at Hearts. 2-0 Motherwell against St Mirren. It was 2-2 Ross County, St Johnson. Saints still without their win. Uh, a United uh, missed out on the chance to go top of the Championship. Lost 2-0 at home to Cali Thistle. Just two points separating the top three there. And Partick Thistle dropped back to the bottom. It's uh, Wraith Rovers still at the top in League One. They came from 2-0 down to draw with Falkirk East 5 in between those two, also drawing at home to Stranraer, who despite that fall to the bottom of League One. Uh, congratulations to Stennis Muir, the first team to beat Cove Rangers this season. Cove Rangers still stay top, but only by a point now from Cowden Booth, who won the big one against Edinburgh City by one goal to nil. Sunday Sports and on tomorrow, of course, at um, Livingston Celtic game kicks off at uh, midday. It is uh, Rangers against Hamilton at three. The Scottish Football Podcast from BBC Radio Scotland.